I feel like I'm going to get really bad karma if I say either one of you. Mm. But I know who I would pick. What? What? <laughs> oh, what? We both know it's me. Are you about to say send the, tra- the reason you would send the train to me? Listen, think of Isaac. Yeah, oh, actually, that's what? a great reason. What about my future son? Yeah. You're not having kids. <laughs> <laughs> you are one. That also, you know, you've, are you older? Yeah, 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 I don't he's like had more life here. as well. I don't like this question, but I'm not doing it. He's that. like 15 years older than me as well. 15! <laughs> Hello, guys, and welcome back to the In, in the, the Lobby, lobby podcast. Where we game and have fun in, in the, the lobby. lobby. We haven't done that since like the first episode. We never came up with the second we line. We never did. <laughs> that was the <laughs> issue, but that's short enough. Short, sweet, into the episode. I'm and then so I found a song that had the In the Lobby the in the lobby song in it, it was great. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a bit I weird. Showed you it, I showed you it, but you guys weren't happy with it. No, so it wasn't very good. I, I like probably Alice. deleted it from my- In the lobby. In the lobby. That is better. So, I'm, can I just talk about why I'm really excited today? Go. I'm like super giddy. Go, Go on. If I was annoying. Like, when I woke up this morning, my girlfriend was like, what is wrong with you? Because I was like. <laughs> why are you so happy? Yeah, I was like running around the house naked. Like, yeah, just being really weird. But it's like super intro. excited. I don't think I've ever been that happy. Yeah, well, you've never been to WrestleMania. <laughs> so by the time this podcast comes out, I will have been to, seen The Rock wrestling in a pair of trunks. He's probably throwing his elbow pad out when he does the people's elbow. I caught it. Mm-hmm. And I'm back home by now. That's what's happened. You're now going to be really disappointed if you come back and you <laughs> if didn't catch it. Yeah, but the, the chance. Well, I'm going to be disappointed, it. quite frankly, if you don't. I've just put it into the universe. You what? know, rock, throw it at me. What does the rock wear now when he wrestles? Because back in the day, he used to wear like just black pants. That's what it's going to be again. I'm hoping. Still, he's going back to what OG is he? At 51 years old. He's, he's about to put the trunks he's back on. He's 51. 50, he's incredible, isn't he? I, I was I was actually saying yesterday. I think people say oh, we're the, the highest evolution of like humans i guess right mm-hmm. <laughs> if that makes sense we are human but i think that he's like the one of one that evolved beyond us a little bit right, further okay yeah so yeah i'm going to wrestlemania last minute decision and um which leads me on to my next point uh, for my birthday i got wwe 2k24 for the ps5 i guess it was your birthday recently wasn't it yeah happy birthday how, how was Thank that you. it was great just went to france and drank a lot of wine and it's cheese never and- Ever in England, is he? No. Like, we catch him for this one episode, and then tomorrow he flies away. And last time we recorded, you flew the next day. Yeah. Always. Are you flying tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow morning. (laughs) Best thing tomorrow morning. (laughs) Philadelphia. I said to my mum, what do you want me to bring back? She said, cheese. I was like, I don't think say that. I said, come on, mum. Philadelphia cheese. Get it from Asda. Get it from Asda. Or other good retailers. Yeah. But WWE 2K24 is actually really good. Great graphics. It's really got me in the mood to go go see it. If you ever played oh, the is that why you're, why you're going? Is because you got the game? No, no, I'm going because the rock's back. I'm literally going because the rock's back. Right, and he's the only back for this one one time. Yeah. Well, you never know. That's why I don't, I don't want to take the risk. I used to okay. love WWE games growing up. Yeah. Even WWF games. Which is the best one? WWF No Mercy is my favorite one for the N64. Classic. Yeah. Uh, SmackDown versus Raw. Great. Yeah, they were great games. And you could create your own, you'd actually do a storyline yeah. and you could choose like what to say in the interviews and stuff, but you could also make your character look however you wanted him to look. Yeah. And then you'd see your character getting in getting into the spirit of it. And you'd Is do that, a hell like, in a Could cell. you make them look really goofy? Because yeah. I've known in one of the new fighting games, I don't know if it was Street Fighter or the other one, but you could make the characters just look like insane like aliens yeah like. you kind of could on well you could change their skin to be like green and stuff yeah right, okay. i had an idea that we could do a we could do a game where we all create our own wrestler but they have to be a famous video game character oh okay i thought you were going to say like us and then see like build them our, like our build and see how they fare that's actually a good idea <laughs> i feel well. like i'd win <laughs> Why? We so like i would definitely wouldn't you know <laughs> hey if you know wrestling i can imagine stevie doing the stink face and it would be you, you wouldn't want that. I d- you would I not want that. I've seen, no. You want to know what that move is? It's when you throw your opponent into the turnbuckle. Oh, no, they land imagine. on the floor. Oh, and no. he had a real big bum, right? And he oh, would slap no. his bum. Psh, psh, and then he just cheeks in the face, rubbing his thing no, in the face. No, that's not good. Welcome that. to Rikishi. Yeah. Oh, please don't. That's why I think Stevie, Stevie would be a good Rikishi. Yeah, I'd be Rikishi <laughs> or Big Show. Yeah. Why are you talking like you're this like seven foot giant? You're in great shape. You've been going to the PT. You're cooking on gas. Yeah, but still bigger than all of you guys. All of you too. All of you TM what, would have you <laughs> what are you playing, Harry? I <gasps> taxi. I've been playing a taxi driving simulator game, which sounds really boring. And you know what? It's not like it's fun for maybe like an hour. Mm. 
but I have just seemed to have tapped into this really weird niche on TikTok that everybody just loves it. I usually go live on TikTok at the same time as I go live on Twitch just to test the waters, you know? Maybe usually get like 10 viewers. Are you allowed to go live on both? Yeah. I didn't know yeah. you were allowed to do can that. can now. Learning. The most viewers I've ever got is playing Red Dead Redemption on TikTok and I got maybe like 100 viewers. So I'm playing this new taxi game on Twitch and then I'm like, oh, you know, I'll just load up a TikTok stream. Why not? Just to test it out. Within like... Five to ten minutes, I had 2.8 thousand people watching me on TikTok. How long did you play it for? Hours. You said if you have 2.8k uh, viewers, you're going to play so, for a long time. So you said it's fun for the first hour. Yeah. So after oh. the first hour, sell your soul. That's yes, it. That's exactly. It. <laughs> of course. So to be clear here, on this taxi game, because you showed me some clips earlier, mm-hmm. you are literally, it's not like crazy taxi, like no. on the Dreamcast. Where you're like Can you still around. get crazy taxi though? Because yeah. I kind of so. want to play it now. Yeah, so if you've got like... Um, Xbox Game Pass mm-hmm. is on there. <gasps> so all of them are on there, I think. Oh. And can you play with the steering wheel? Um, I'd have to check. I'm glad think, you did that because I, I wasn't think... sure what one was. <laughs> <laughs> can you play it with one of these? Steering wheel. I think the catch is that I'm playing it with a steering wheel because otherwise people aren't as interested if you're not. Ah, they're there for the you, wheel. Harry. No, because I played, what, yeah, I played you... last night without the steering wheel and I got like half the viewers. Why do you think people are so interested in a steering wheel? I, I really wheel? don't know. I think because a lot of the TikTok viewership is quite like young people that want are trying to get into gaming. And so I literally answer the same question a million times over every stream. So I just have to ignore the chat now because they're all asking, what platform is this on? What steering wheel are you using? Do you have to pay for the game? And it's oh, just, those, just a cycle of those wheel, three yeah, questions over and over and over See, again. My issue with games like this, like simulator games, mm-hmm. yeah. is that most of the time I see gaming as a thing to escape the real world and do something you can't do in the real yes. world. Yeah. But you could legally, obviously... But if you could legally set up your phone and just click go live and just drive your car about, you're doing the same thing. And people would love that, I think. But it's people safe because she crashes a lot, though. That's the problem. Yeah, true. Do you? Yeah. Well, not so much anymore. I tried to... Oh, my God. Let me tell you what happened to my... I didn't tell you. I told CV. So on, on the Logitech steering wheel that you get, the, the brake pedal is like extra... Like you can't really push it all the way down because there's a piece of rubber inside it that stops you, right? So the reason I was crashing so much the first few times is because you cannot push the brake all the way to the floor. Otherwise, you just put your foot through it. So yesterday, I was like, okay, disassemble the whole thing, take apart the pedals, took the piece of rubber out, works perfectly now, great. Put it all back together. Um, Screwing in like the final screw, and I screw through the wire that attaches my accelerator to the actual pedal system. So I put it all back together, and now my accelerator pedal doesn't work. So I can only break. I completely broke the entire thing trying to fix the pedal. But luckily, I think Logitech are going to send me out one because they're really nice. So uh, that's awesome. That she went so anyway, taxi around. driving simulator, loving it. I'm going to play some Euro Truck Simulator as well. There's also a simulator called Police Simulator, okay. where you literally just are a policeman, but you, then you can drive around your See, police that, car. That, okay, I'm down for that. That one I understand. Well, I've seen a dude, right? I, I saw this guy who'd like built his entire... Yeah. Did you see the truck guy? Yeah. So he like made his entire setup look and feel like a truck. He put windows, mm-hmm. he put like the dice hanging down. Everything was like, you're in a truck. And like the top comment was, bro, just get in a truck. Yeah. 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 So that's what I mean. <laughs> but like, there's one simulator I can get behind. Yeah. And that's a simulator we've been playing downstairs. Oh yeah. Oh, racing. the racing sim, sim racing. Because I will never sit behind the wheel of an of F1 course. car. Yeah. I will never be able to do that. So being able to sit in a rig and do it properly, mm-hmm. I love. However, that's the game I've been playing lately. You yeah. should never go behind the wheel of a normal car. The problem is, right, I've got this horrible... Do you drive? Yeah, yeah you drive. really well. Really? The problem is, I've got this... I've got this it's, I'm going to say it's like kind of a disease, right? When I'm playing a car game, a game, and I see an opponent okay. somewhere near me, my instinct is to just torpedo them off the track. <laughs> so even an F1, like, you may be taking it deadly seriously. And we've been told, you know, these rigs can snap your wrist if you're not careful. You I see my you, hand out. And I'm like, do I want to go around the edge or do I just want to bang him off? The first corner. Yeah. First corner of Add the race. Off. I'm going forward and I just get smacked into the back of me and I get in my ears because that your pit crew talk to you, don't they? Yeah. I get in my ears going, that's a warning for a collision. I was going, he's driven into the back of me. <laughs> what am I meant to do? And then it pops up. I turn the corner and it pops up three second. Um, and I'm like, what? Penalty. what three, three second penalty for being hit by Ian. Yeah. And then I'm just behind for the rest of the race there was this, you, know, you know what it's like if you've ever played them before you see like the red like arrows where it's like do a sharp turn here or whatever else break and there was a point where I let Harry go in front of me and she was going around the corner on the red I wondered what and I just thought there. if I just cut straight across full pelt I'm just going to hit the back of her whip right 
boom, she spins out. Everyone's having a good time. No one's having a good yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, it says no everyone. one's having a good time but <laughs> he you. Himself. I'm there trying to get these fast laps. We're all, and stuff. we're actually taking it very seriously, trying to beat each other on our best lap. You know, I'm kind of getting close to the boys. I'm like maybe four or five seconds behind, like really trying, and then he's just messing. Spins around. you out. Why have they never thought? Let's do an F1 collab with Mario Kart where we put, you know, like blue shells, red shells, like bananas. Yeah, then it would be fun. Yeah. When you're meant to do it. Yeah, but, but I'm bringing the Mario Kart to the Wait, game. Actually, sim racing Mario Kart be would be sick. so cool. That'd be a lot that, of you fun. would like that. Like you don't you want to like destroy I'd like it if you're allowed to hit each other, but yeah. when you're just trying to get the fastest lap or yeah. r- race to the front. They do that in Japan, don't they? You can go on the actual road in these little Mario Kart cars. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them. But have you ever played Mario Kart an arcade? Where it's like yeah. it's good, but it's you're still just racing around. But I want that sim racing, like you've got to take cars yeah, perfect. That would be so I've got like good. Luigi in front of me or something you know they've, they've got to do a collab I they've think got that to do work a really well but I feel like Nintendo don't really like they collab with Nintendo and like other I don't know if they'd co- collab with Sim Racing you know Mario Kart yeah. X Sim Racing well, it's I don't see it being a thing. but you do enjoy racing with me admit it yeah no I love the sim racing is just a lot of We've fun. We've been really anyway. getting into it, actually. I didn't think it was something I would like fully get into, but it's it, when you're sitting there, it's so addictive. You get you really just, competitive. You just can't well. stop. Yeah, like, you, you want to beat your best lap. And it's, it's funny learning how to do a lap as well. Like, you'll do a lap three times and you'll go, Well, I went this corner, I did a bit sharp last yeah. time, so I'll change yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. And it's like you actually do get better. Mm-hmm. And, and you know what? This is going to sound like an ad because this is a guild podcast, but aside from the affiliation, aside from the hoodie, aside from the fact that we are guild, right? If I was doing a stag do, or if I was doing like a work, <laughs> a, a, work a work get together, oh no. a bit before the drinking, right, 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 right I would right. love to do a, 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 an event there with my mm, mates, and I'd, and I'd say the same because there's, there's school, there's a school here as well. So if you want to come mm-hmm. and actually train and be a sim racer, you can do it here. Yeah, it's great. Very Maybe cool. they can teach us to get better. Teach you not to crash into people. Yeah. It's Maybe we'll bet. just put him on his own and then just we'll, me, you and Tien. Uh, I don't want to do time trials. That strips the fun of it. <laughs> I want to be torpedo and you guys are competitive. He's, he's competitive. not competitive. Okay. competitive. okay. Well. Should we get on with an actual episode yes, then? Yes, so let's should. do an episode. We Thanks should. for telling us what you've been playing and crashing into us. Yeah. I've come up with a little concept for today's episode. Go on. It's something I like to call, and the world also likes to call, because it's not something I've come up with, really. <laughs> a moral dilemma. Okay. Have you heard of such quandaries? I think I've heard, I think I've heard so it's of So it's when you've got to dilemma. make a decision in life, a vital decision in the moment. But with moral dilemmas, it tends to be, sometimes it comes down to ethics yeah. and mm-hmm. your morals. Okay. Clues in the title. <laughs> so I'll give an example. So let's let's do one um, a simple brain may understand. Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the film Dark Knight? The Dark yes, Knight. I can't remember Batman what happens in it. Really. Thank God you didn't ask me. Set the scene. Yeah. You're Batman. Okay, great. Good stuff. The Joker has captured two people. Harvey Dent, a very well-known man who seems to be doing a lot for the city of Gotham. Mm-hmm. And a lady named Rachel, who you love, but she, <laughs> she loves Harvey Dent. Okay. Captured these two people. He's put them in two different rooms yeah. and told you you can only save one of them, yeah. but by saving one, the other one dies. You need to make the decision. Mm -hmm. In the film, Batman decides to go for Rachel, but tells Commissioner Gordon to go and save Harvey. Yeah. Joker lied. Went to the wrong place. He saves Harvey, but Harvey's so annoyed that he saved Harvey and Rachel dies, he becomes Two-Face. Got it. Very evil man. Yeah. So his ethical moral decision there was, do I save a woman I love or do I save a man who's going to make the city better? Batman's not, he made the, the wrong decision anyway, but Harvey survived. So I'm going to give you some moral, ethical decisions to come up with from video games. Oh, I like this. I like this so that was a movie. <clears throat> the most well-known moral dilemma ever is the trolley problem. Do you know this? I've heard you've of it. You've been on the website. No? Tell me the trolley problem. There's just a website where you, essentially, it's like a train track situation and it's like it takes you through x amount of dilemmas where you either have the choice to pull the lever and change which trajectory the train takes so either like killing one person and it's going to kill one person anyway or no the other way around it's killing five people but you can pull the lever and only kill one person and save five okay what do you do and then it just takes you through a bunch of things. Let's let's have a quick go on that. What on would then. you do? So train is going into five people. It's it's gonna kill them. They can't get away in time. Yeah. However, you've got a lever which will make the track change the train change tracks yeah. and 
but there's one person on the other track who also wouldn't be allowed to escape it, okay. able to escape it. Would you pull it knowing you've made the decision to kill that one person or would you just allow it to kill the five people? Well, is it five, like, good people? Well, you don't that, know. That's a future question, I suppose. Yeah, you have no information now, at the don't. time. But the track is destined, yeah. in theory, to be going to the five. Yeah. yeah. So, but if I step anyway. in, yeah. I've then... Killed somebody, really. But saved five people. Well, saved four, really. I know I saved five, <laughs> but you know what I mean? If you're doing... You add them up, there's one. Yeah. There's one who's not. You're plus Do four or minus yeah. four. I'm going for the, the one on the jacksy. You'd kill the one, yeah. knowing you've done that, though. Well, the thing is, mm, is, is a five lives more important than one. Well, I'd, I'd like to think my life is more important than five people in this room. <gasps> I'm kidding. That's a joke. It's not. That's a, a, genuinely a joke. Um... I actually, I'm stuck. No, just to be clear, that is a joke. Um, but when you when you actually uh, drum it down, it's like, what is the value of a life? Yeah, I'm more more worth more than one. Yeah, and then but then the other thing is, if you've made that decision, are you then going to get in trouble for doing yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, That's... I'm going for the one. Boom, knock them down. So you killed the one, knowing you've wow. saved five yeah. people. So then, hero, what if really. you go to prison? Well, I'm not going to because I'd oh, say, no. hey guys, there was this train. Uh, it was going five people. I pulled the lever, it went for one. We're all happy. And then the judge would go, yeah, you're right, good point. There's, there's one step up from this question, so I'm intrigued to know what you do in this situation. Go on. Same situation. A tram. Let's do a tram instead of a train because it can't be as heavy. A tram is going to go into the five people. It's going to kill them. Yeah. Or you can stop it. So there's no option on it going down a different track this time. It's coming this way, but there's one way to stop it. You're on a bridge above the track. Yeah. And there's a really, really... <laughs> fat man on the bridge with you right you you can see the tram coming it's going to kill the five people if you push the man off the bridge and he lands on the track it will stop the tram mm. but this time rather than pulling a lever you've had to push the man off and kill him do you allow the five people to die <laughs> wow or this is more physical isn't it is that a lever exactly. is a bit a lever That's you're not I'm thinking saying. or you think you're disconnected from it because it's a lever so you're now not disconnected you've done the shove you've killed fat man <laughs> You've killed Santa. But can the fat man say to me, D please don't do this, Ian. And I'm going, listen, brother, I've got to make a split second decision. Ian. He's like, I've got a wife and kids. And by the time he said that, the, the five are dead. So okay. you, you need to go Oh, quicker. I've shoved him already. Yeah. Oh. You shove him. No, I can't, I can't push a man to his death. Are you crazy? I, I, I don't know what I'd do in this situation. This That's what I'm saying. Pulling the lever I'm, is what no What would different. you do? Oh, I'd, I'd get him all I kind of want to look up some <laughs> I'd push him slightly too late. <laughs> It land on the tram and then it <laughs> go kill the tram. The tram's gone by and you're just like, <laughs> oh, I tried. <laughs> what would you do, Harry? Would oh, you send the man I, down? I wanna, there's a bunch of different ones. And Why is he some fat? Of, oh, yeah, I can see the Because he's got to be big enough to stop the tram. Yeah. It's Rikishi. What website is the trolley problem? Rikishi. The trolley problem. The tro um, but I don't know, because my I had a, like a super hour long discussion with my chat about this. It's crazy. And my my stance was just i always just leave it just, just leave it turn a blind eye literally because otherwise if we're talking about if this actually happened in like the modern day world you probably i probably would go to prison for that if i you know if i pulled the lever and killed one person instead of five i would probably go to jail because who even if theoretically and this was definitely going to happen even if it was going to kill those five people in the real world you, it could have just stopped before. The train could have broken down like a millimetre before it killed those ooh, killed those people. And then I've still just killed one person. So you just you see, there's you a don't lot to know. It. Exactly. I'm going to ask you a serious... Like, you've got to give us an answer here, right? Okay. This is a lever. Right. This little bottle. If you're watching on YouTube or whatever, this is a lever. If you're not, if you're listening, I've got a bottle of water in my hand. If you turn it to the left, the train goes to Stevie. If you turn it to the <laughs> right, the train goes to me. Where's it currently <laughs> going now? It's... It's got to go to one of us, but she's got to make a decision. So this is, oh, as I said, no, we're going we're to turn this into a gaming thing. And this decision is, is pretty much exactly the same decision that you have to make in a game called Until Dawn. Until Dawn's like a play-along game that you kind of walk around, but you, it's just like constantly making decisions. It's a bit like a Telltale game, really, but yeah. you can do a little bit more. And there's a scene where you walk into a room, and it's a bit like Saw, you know, the Saw movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a, there's a saw blade spinning... And the psycho guy, over, it says psycho in the subtitles, so that's, that's what we call him, I guess. Psycho says over the speaker saying, you have a decision to make. You must kill your best friend or the girl you fancy. 
Don't even think they're together. Just go. You, you've <laughs> Just got go a your crush on to save her. Um, it's like a girl he has a crush on, or your best mate that he's been. Best mate's been a bit of a not a nice guy lately. Yeah. Uh, so he has to sit there, and you make the decision. You can kill one or the other, and obviously the storyline changes based on that. And you've now given Harry that exact same decision. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to get really bad karma if I say either one of you. Mm. But I know who I would pick. What? What? <laughs> oh, what? We both know it's me. No, it's me. The only reason it's I would pick I would pull the lever towards I feel, I feel, honestly I don't believe in I'm not superstitious but I genuinely feel like if I say that I would kill one of you then I'm going to You about to say send the, the reason you would send the train Listen, to me. Listen, think of Isaac. Yeah, oh, actually that's what, a great reason. What about my future son? Yeah. You're not having kids. <laughs> <laughs> you are one. That also, you know, you've are you older? Yeah, 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 I don't he's like had more life here. as well. I don't like this question, but I'm not doing He's it. like 15 years older than me as well. 15. <laughs> <laughs> what planet are you on? I love both of you equally and you uh, both add the same amount of value to my life, but I would I would have to think about the external side. Think of the children, that Ian. That would be the only reason. Think of the child trial. I mean, that's um, you know always what? the reason, I need to have a kid is it? Quick. <laughs> Before that train comes, you better pop one out. Yeah. Let's just make a call to the missus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall, shall we right. move on right, to yeah, yeah, some actual one. gaming ones yes. now that Ian's dead? <laughs> So what I've done is I've I've actually written out a couple from games. Yeah. But I've written them out as moral dilemmas without saying what the game is. You'll be able to figure it out quite easily. But I'm gonna I'm gonna read it out and then you can say what you do in these situations. Okay. So I made this up before coming in on the way today. So hopefully it makes sense. A zombie fungal infection has killed off the majority of the population. You have lost everyone you ever cared for. You do what you need to survive and have been given the task to transport a young girl across America for unknown reasons. After weeks of travelling, facing many scary situations along the way, you finally arrive at the final destination to hand over the young girl. You learn that she is the key to saving humanity. The doctors and scientists in front of you say that they can use the young girl to create a cure for the zombie fungal infection and potentially save the world and return it to what it once was. However... The only way to get what they need from the girl involves killing her. Here is the decision you must make. Do you? A. Let them kill the girl and save humanity. Or B. Save the girl, but you probably also have to kill everyone in the building because they won't let you leave with her. <laughs> I just, uh, this is obvious. Uh, and it actually, uh, it annoyed me when it happened, when I watched it. Okay, so you think that they, she should die to save humanity? I mean, she's... In the, especially in the in the program, can I say what it was? Yeah, yeah, of it's course. The Last of Us, right? So, in the TV show, like, I didn't even like her that much. I'm just like, yeah, you're cool, but like, I'm not, I'm not like sacrificing humanity for you. But what you need to remember is he lost his daughter because of this whole virus thing, could, and he's, he's essentially been given a new daughter yeah. because he got really close with her over the travels. Sometimes, I bet the third daughter would have been even better. Okay. Also, how much of humanity is left? <laughs> Yeah, that's the only thing. When I look at it, I'm thinking, can uh, they really rebuild humanity? Yeah, like they can save so long. Does does the cure that they're saying they've got actually turn all the current zombies back to human, or does oh it just God, stop anyone not. else being able to? Turn okay, it? so you've got this wonderful crop of people who spend their entire lives trying to come up with this vaccine and this salvation for humanity. Mm -hmm. We're all just in this hospital going, we can do this, guys. It's twenty four seven. And then they all, you just go, you know what, I'm going to kill all you because I like this little lass here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's where my line was drawn with this situation because it isn't just... Okay, let's say you didn't have to kill anyone. Yeah. You can just... Say you get 10 miles from the location yeah. and you find out the reason they need her is because they need to kill her for it. Now, you don't Am have I to... Am doing a Yui? Do, yeah. Do you turn around? <laughs> You're doing a Yui. Do you then class. turn around? You haven't got to kill anyone, but... You also don't have to let her die to save everyone. I think this is an interesting point because ultimately, as much as we all like, I am a, I, I love the world and I love all my friends and family, but we are a very insular species as human beings. Like we've got our unit, and that's what matters to us the most, right? So if 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 the rest of humanity, which to you is not in your bubble, gets in the way of your bubble, which way do you go? That's the scary part. Because we're all, as much as we don't like to admit it, we've all got main character syndrome, right? Because we've only got our brain thoughts and feelings. So mm -hmm. what we see and feel and experience is what matters the most to us in the world. But do you think outside of that and think, no, I need to, I'll sacrifice this for everything else? 
Would you or not? I'm asking you, Harry. I, don't, I think the the problem with this is uh, my thought is just like as as a species we're already like pretty much killing the planet anyway and I don't think that we're probably gonna fix it ever it's probably just gonna die off at some point yeah. let's be real so I think but then again you're like it's saving one one person it's not even your daughter, who could just what if wife? she gets hit but hit by a bus? Someone you care day. about. I'd be you'd be fuming, wouldn't you'd you? You'd be so mad. Imagine you kill all those doctors and stuff. You leave, and the next day she gets killed anyway. Yeah, that's the problem. I can't remember. Does she know that she has to die to to be the cure? Do, I can't remember what she, she knows. I think she finds out eventually, just before, and she's okay with it. I think she's I okay think with she dying. Realizes. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she does. See, that also throws a spanner in the works because I feel like if she's okay with it, that should have been her decision. She does because I remember when she wakes up, mm. she's like, she says to Joel, she's just a bit like, what how am I here? Yeah, yeah, and I think she gets a bit annoyed. Then he lies to her, yeah. doesn't he? And the fact that he lies shows that Guys, she Guys, if you that. haven't played The Last of Us Part 2, apologies, we should have put a spoiler <laughs> on that out of here. No, this is Part 1. Is it still Part 1? Yeah, so oh. if they haven't played it by now, that's on them. No, but the series is part. Well, part yeah, but that's two, a year old. We can put a spoiler well. in the bio. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay, well, this spoiler. can go. Bef- this can, can go. Get- wait, let's create a clip that's going to go before everything else. Pete, thank you. There is going to be spoilers for games in this podcast, so hopefully you're okay with that. Hey, nice. Okay, so we've all got to make a decision right here, right now. Oh, it's so tricky. And it's also, tricky. would your decision change? Decision. I keep saying decision. 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 Keep saying decision. Okay. decision. decision. Would your decision <laughs> change if it was your actual daughter? This is the thing. One hundred percent, obviously. Well, you're the, you know you literally got. Now there's no way you're telling me that you, you would of Isaac, right? Yeah. What are you saying? Oh, I wouldn't let Isaac go near him. But you're there. You I get, no, you're going you, full Rambo. Oh, what? Because he doesn't find out until... No, he's there. He's in the building. You, yeah, you don't find out until you're there. Are you going Rambo mode? Yeah, I'd kill them all. Oh, my word. What if I'm one of the doctors? You're dead. Yeah. I just think, yeah, there's not, at this point, there's not many people left in the world anyway. So You've like, been killed twice They're not going to recreate humanity, I don't think. Yeah, that's that's my thing. It's like, really? How good you, can you really do it? Mm. Yeah. Like if, it was, deep- if it was my mum, and my mum's in her mid-60s now, I'm still wiping out everyone in that building. Mm. Oh, I'd kill your mum. No, uh, I'd stop you killing my mum. <laughs> well, How is this where we've uh, gone? It, uh, th- this podcast has escalated to me visualising my man having a gunfight with Stevie over my mum's life. <laughs> this is this is why moral dilemmas are so good, though, because it makes you be like, what do I actually do oh, in it's these so situations? Good. You wouldn't know until you're actually in that situation, so you can never you can never pre-think what you would do. Well, I do need an answer from you, Harry. I've, I've said, if it's me, and if it's, if it's the girl who I've got really close to, we've built a bond over this... In, throughout this crazy like zombie pandemic, yeah, I'm letting her go for the human. Especially if she's okay with it, yeah, yeah. I think if she's okay, it'd be it'd be tough. It's, it's not a painful very, death or anything either. Let's put her to sleep. Yeah. Oh Have man, but, oh, she's God, so grim. Sucks. This podcast, isn't it? <laughs> it's a lot of death. Yeah, I'd, I mean, if it wasn't my own like child, then yeah. probably yeah, you'd have to just be like, I'm so sorry. I, I think that's where I draw the line. Mm. If it's, but then again, but Isaac's not actually mine. And I'd still not let him. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, it, I know, but you're like, he is though, really. Yeah, yeah but you, you know, he spent his whole, pretty much his whole life. Shout out to Stevie, by the way, who's like a wonderful father. Oh, thanks. You are. I'll kill everyone. <laughs> I was, I was thinking, <laughs> he's a good dad, but he'll kill your mom. Um, <laughs> Can we put this in the podcast? Yeah, because um, oh. like, your, your missus was telling me when we, we did a Kung Fu Panda event just how much of a great dad you are. I knew it already, but yeah. Oh, thank yeah, you. You are, you are, <laughs> absolutely. Can I do a dial? Are, are, are we all settled on that then? We're all saying, if let her die. If she's not your own child. But if if she's actually your child, kill everyone yeah, else. Yeah. Don't you think that Last of Us probably would have been a better moral dilemma if, if it was his daughter? But no, because then the fact that he did it, even though it isn't, is more like, whoa. True, I think, yeah. I think if it was his daughter, people would go, hmm, yeah, no, I get it. But yeah. I think a lot of people got angry over it, mm. not being his actual daughter, and then going, "Why?" Yeah, that? maybe it would have tugged on heartstrings more if it was. Though. Okay. It there was good. Go. It was. It was a especially in the, in the the TV show. It was very gripping, wasn't it? It was crazy. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Come on. What's your moral dilemma? All right. You walk in. It's going to be something dumb. You walk in a Mor- <laughs> Morrison. You walk in a Morrison's, right? Right here we go. I just knew it before you even said it. Go on. All right now, you can see. Above the shelves, there are these two huge boxes. Yeah. Right? Let's say Coco Pops, but like there's a lot of them, so it's really heavy, right? Okay. 
And Al two and Al three, the boat is going to fall on both Al's, right? Yeah. Boom, the Coca Pops is going to land. And uh, walking down Al <laughs> or crawling down Al three, you got a little toddler, right? Just lost its mum. Crawling down Al three. Oh, losses in like just lost them in the supermarket. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. No, she was a doctor and I killed her. <laughs> <laughs> on Al two, you got a couple of grannies doing the big shop. Yeah. Just walking along. So you got his two grannies, lovely. Just for the record, right? Lived like phenomenal lives, saving lives every yeah. day. Men, women, children, animals, they did it all. Okay. They were like vet doctor surgeons. like Nobel Prize winners. Nobel Prize winners, right? The baby, all it does is argue, spit, draw on the walls, poo everywhere. Yeah. Now, you've got the microphone where you can go, Al 2, look out! Or Al 3, you've got this one moment. Before the cocoa pops fall from the top shelf. And we so can't say aisle two pops. and three. Look no, out. you got to okay. say. You gotta okay, yeah, that would be two. Be two, two, two look out. Aisle three, look out. Well, how's the baby going to understand what you're saying? By the cocoa. It's really smart baby. He's a little idiot, but he, uh, he's, like, he's he real can annoying. He un- hear and understand. But he understands. And he can move quick enough even though he's crawling. Quick crawler. Quick <laughs> A little army <laughs> roll. Army yeah. roll or something like that. Way. Well, obviously you're killing the grannies, aren't you? Yeah, you kill the grannies. What? What would you not? They're like no. usually they're eighty. They've, They've lived a long lived life. Their lives. No, they were actually. That's one hundred and sixty no. years between them. Sorry, they were actually forties in the forties. <laughs> oh my god! Just, uh, they were forty-three and forty. So they're like your age, okay? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, the people, everyone's out for me. You know, they're, they're, <laughs> You've been killed twice and been called old twice. Yeah, it's just all this. No, I think you have to, you have to save the kids. All right, they're in the 20s. They're 22 and 23. Like uni students. Yeah, but they've, they're going to be... the absolute scoundrels then. How could you... No, <laughs> save the, the kids. Like, you can't even kill children in like movies these days, so you just can't... <laughs> you sound... Everything, times have changed. You can't even right. kill kids in movies. And I forgot to say this bit, because um, you've already picked the grannies now, yeah? Yeah. So what you didn't know is, is that the, the the young baby grew up to be a prolific serial killer. <laughs> it was inspired what? by the serial that fell. So <laughs> then he became a serial killer, killed 100,000 people worldwide. 100,000? So that's on YouTube. 100,000 is mad that's, for a serial killer. That's on YouTube, that. How has well he never caught? What has this got to do that's with video games? What? Oh yeah, we went to do video game dilemmas. gaming dilemmas. Yeah, yeah, and you've just turned a no because he was that, serial killer. It was that crazy that they made a game out of it. In, oh, in, did they? Yeah, in, yeah. What was it called? I'm taking it's this idea. Serial killer baby man. <laughs> Sounds like the baby in yellow. <laughs> I want to see it. If anyone out there knows how to program and create games, please make the game Serial someone, Killer Baby Man, where the backstory it. is that. Someone when saved this baby to old. kill two old grannies when he was a small child, and he goes on to murder a hundred thousand people. <laughs> yeah. What a premise! Well, yeah, I think I'd kill the grannies. Yeah. Um, well, if he's going to grow up to be a serial, well, we killer, didn't know that. Can I change my that. mind? Too late. No, it's just, the can I kill the grannies and then kick the baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. Uh, have we got any more down there? <laughs> have you got any, Harry? I, I mean, all of the games I've played, the only game I could think that has more dilemmas, well, most games do, pretty much. But Detroit Become Human has, like, a ton, because it's basically about whether all these robots that get put into these, like, really crappy situations, and they have to, even though they're technically not human, they have developed some, like, human feelings, and they have to decide whether they intervene in these horrible situations. Because they're mostly used as, like, I guess, like, slaves, kind of, in certain households. So it's like, do they intervene and break their like, I'm a robot, no, I'm a human kind of bond. No, because the humans don't know. The humans don't know, yeah. They have feelings. So by intervening in any situation, they're then creating like a whole world of problems for like the world of AI artificial intelligence. And that's kind of what the whole game is about. So it's just about what the first, one of the first stories is about this little girl and her really abusive father. And basically does... Clara is there, who's, I think it's Cara, Cara or Clara, I can't remember. I've played this bit. Have you? I played the first, I played that bit, and then there's the bit when you're the man on the roof with yes. the gun. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's like the very that's first. That's as far as I got. That's the very first scene. Oh, you should play it, it's such a good game. But basically, I'm gonna the, play it now. the whole game is like, do you break your mould and intervene in these horrible situations? And it's always like a, because you decide all the choices up to that point. Mm-hmm. And then there's like a pivotal point where it's like, you, br- you literally break your AI and intervene in those so situations. Give us it's one really of good. the. Can you think of a specific pivotal point that we can discuss whether we do it? Well, to be honest, I don't. I think you'd probably just say yes anyway because 
the whole game is about like should artificial artificial art <laughs> Artificial decision. What? Decision. Artificial intelligence. AI. Have human feelings. Yeah, AI is better. But it's, you would always say yes, because it's like, how are you not going to save yeah, like a little girl? Because you are human. And you know, these robots want to live peacefully among humans as well, mm. even though they're not really supposed to. So. Well, that, that's the, the AI side of things. When I looked into moral dilemmas before, this isn't anything to do with the game, but I know what we're doing. Um, <laughs> one of the AI ones was a, I think it's one where there's a self-driving car mm-hmm. going down a single lane road yeah. and it's gonna about to go under a tunnel and you've got two people in the car, but it's self-driving and you've got a small kid running across the road. Should the AI hit the kid... Or if it it's turns away, road. it will kill the two people inside the car. So what what decision should we program into AI to make in that situation? Ooh. Should it be to always protect the people inside the car? Ooh. Or should it be to protect? Oh, man. That's crazy. Because if we are going to do self-driving cars one day, what is the well, option? Well, I've paid for the car, so like, look after me. <laughs> Nine nine dollar Uber. <laughs> this is like an ex- <laughs> anyway. Yeah, true. Um, true. Good point. I actually do have a really good dilemma, like a video game dilemma. Okay. Go on. Are you ready for this? Oh, I'm scared. You're I in a room. Gonna, I thought he's gonna troll right? us again. You're in a room. No, this is this is epic. You're in a room. To the left, you have a man who developed the first ever Nintendo console that would go on to, you know, bring it all of the Nintendo joy that came from it. Yeah. <laughs> Mario. You know, I don't even need to go into it. Ian's idol. On the right, you have a guy from Sony who's about to develop, start to develop PlayStation stuff, right? Are you going to make us kill one? Is this a no, video game? there's no death in this one. Right. When they li- they've got their one prototype that's out on the table and they go for a quick lunch break together, if you steal it, nothing ever comes from that brand ever. But you can only steal one. You have to steal one. Are you stealing the prototype for Nintendo? Or are you still in the prototype for Sony? So which one do you stop from ever... Ever existing? I think that's really hard. It is. Because I... Both, both have brought a lot of joy. Yeah. Yeah, but... I think Nintendo... See, I prefer Sony. I'll say that as what? an adult. Because I think Nintendo Switch oh, is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, this is what I'm okay, going to say. Okay, but are we talking about the vid- like what video games have Sony... Well, this is, this is the thing. I think the reason you have to steal Sony's and let Nintendo's live is because what Nintendo does is its own stuff, whereas the majority of what Sony does, you could probably also just get on Xbox. Yeah. I know you've got, your so- you've got your Spider-Man games and you've stuff, but really all they did was bought those games. Yeah. But they and if Sony didn't exist, Spider-Man still would. Exactly. It would have just gone to... Nin- uh, they wouldn't be exclusive if the, that console didn't exist anyway. So. I, I think Nintendo has to exist. Pokemon, Mario, Zelda. Yeah. You've got too many games that are massive and great for kids as well. And great for childhood. Nintendo, but yeah, yeah. I feel like that's quite an easy one. Do you have, like... He's what, definitely Nintendo. Well, you're obviously going to pick Nintendo as well, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's... Would there, is there another equivalent? Maybe like, okay, what about if like Microsoft, for example? Yeah. The guy that made Microsoft or the guy that made... Sony. No, Nintendo. Well, I'm still picking Nintendo, but if it was Sony Microsoft, then I'd start thinking about all the Halos I'd have missed out on. Or the Gears of War. But then if you do Microsoft, does that also count PCs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would, like, PCs wouldn't exist. Well, I mean, you would have, like, obviously you would have Mac OS, but they don't run video games, really. So just think, like, all PC video games would have to be eliminated. Yeah, I'd I'd let let PC. No, I'd I'd allow PC then. PCs are too important. You allow PC to live over Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah, but think about, like, you know. Because, again, Pokemon would still exist, just not as a game. Would it? Because it's just Pokemon cards. What came first? The series? What came first? Chicken or the egg, the Pokemon or the cards? <laughs> what did come? The series. Yeah. Surely the anime. If it classes as an anime. Surely it does. <gasps> did you guys watch Pokemon Concierge? I can't remember. No. no I still need haven't to. watched it. Oh, please do. Because they're bringing out a new seri- They're bringing out another series of it. Okay. I will watch it so before the next it. time we're in here. Um, pi- I'd, yeah. I'd let Nintendo die. I'd pick PC. Sorry, Nintendo. Day, or Microsoft, okay. Sh- shall we do one week. more big dilemma? All oh, right. Let's do it. I've, I've, I've written out another one. Okay. Oh, have you? Yeah. Yes. Like a proper situation. Just don't let me die in this one. Oh, also, I forgot to say the Last of Us one. Yeah. I got a quote from a professor of philosophy about the decision Joel made, and he said, "We're wired to respond more strongly to people we care about." 
and to people that we think are like us. If we're talking about the well-being of humanity, it seems to be a different case, but we can understand why Joel made the decision he did. Most people, including me, would have made that same decision. Mm. But then he did admit that you really should always do what's best for the world, and it would have hurt, but sometimes the right thing is hard to do. Oh, wow. And there we are, just murdering. I'm cry. <laughs> do you know deep. what? When I was looking this up earlier, I, I found a literal dissertation that someone had written on the moral dilemmas in Detroit Become Human. Someone had, has written a whole... Dissertation on it? Like a, like a paper. We're already, like a, we're already like 40 like minutes into this podcast. paper. <laughs> Just read the whole paper. <laughs> okay, are we ready for yes. another yeah. moral dilemma? Let's go. You're the only surviving passenger on a plane that crashes into your... I'll start again. Run that back. <clears throat> Decision. I think you're, you're going to say into the Atlantic. I think you're going to say you're the only surviving passenger on a plane that crashes into the Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean. Ocean. <laughs> As you sink further and further down, you manage to escape the plane and discover a deep underwater city, an isolated utopia. As you explore the city, you come across a genetic material called Adam. This gene-altering substance can grant superhuman powers. You encounter small, monstrous, brainwashed children called Little Sisters who torment the surviving population. You're urged to kill these evil children and harvest the hidden Adam inside them, which will make you stronger and have superhuman powers and it will help you escape. However, you're also given an option that can remove the sea slug brainwashing them so they'll turn back into normal girls. Right. Do you... Save the little sisters, knowing it will make your escape much more difficult and you could be trapped underwater in rapture forever. Or do you harvest the Adam from the girls to guarantee your escape? What superpowers do you get? Loads of things. You can get like Bioshock. Yeah. Oh, oh, I yeah. need to go and play Bioshock. That Bio, sounds it's a lot amazing. Of fun. It's a lot of fun. So I you can get powers have... like electric shocks. So the thing I haven't mentioned in there, just because it's irrelevant to the thing, all of the little sisters have these massive like robot human superhuman things that protect them called Big Daddy yeah. as well so it's Big oh, Daddy yeah. and Little Sisters and they basically tell Big Daddy to kill for them and stuff so they're proper evil little kids but the situation is you've got this small devil-eyed child in front of you mm-hmm. someone's given you something that takes off the brainwashing and they'll become normal but then you need to survive as yourself or if you're willing to kill this demon child then you can take the Adam out of them and you'll have superpowers like electric shocks and stuff like that. They're quite Thing cool is, powers, flames. But then do, do you, pl- like, if you get all those powers, <laughs> do you plan to go back up to the surface and just live in the normal world? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'd do it. Right. Well, you're not going to be able to Let's ever use Let's make it. one thing clear here. No, but you need to escape. There's a serious problem here. What? This dilemma. I save all these little devil kids and take the slug, slugs out the red or whatever, yeah? Yeah. And then they're just like, yeah, Ian, thank you. And I'm like, sweet. Yeah, I'm still just regular old Ian. I can't, I yeah. fire, I can't like, shoot electronics or like fireballs. No. How am I getting me and these little kids out if it's hard enough doing it on my own? Well, that's the thing. You that's just stay the there thing. forever. So you in don't. the game, it's essentially you can make this decision to get these extra superpowers and it makes the game a bit easier for you because yeah. you're able to fight a lot better and do a lot more. Or you can make the right decision the, the morally correct decision and save the children, um, which will lead to a different ending of the game. One ending where you could escape with alone everybody. and one with all these um, small children. Okay. But it's obviously a much harder game if you are willing to save them. Mm, I th- I mean, it's difficult because you, like once you've harvested, if you kill them all and harvest all their powers, you can't really go back up to the surface of the ocean and who's just gonna live, tell you, uh, live who's, life normally. Who's going to say, excuse me a minute? What you did down there was outrageous. <laughs> My no, no one will ever know, either. Oh. You escape and you can get back up to the normal world. Well, yeah, I think the powers become irrelevant then because you wouldn't be able to really use those powers in real life unless but it's to like light a candle randomly no, or something. The, <laughs> the powers are more for just escaping, making right. sh- making sure so you can you definitely. So you don't get them on the outside. No, you'll get them, but that's oh. irrelevant because free electricity. Really, yeah, I think I would st- steal all the little little demons and go back up to the surface and live life normally. Because if it was the steal, other way, r- as in save them. No, no, no as in like kill them off. Brain. You'd kill them all. Well, because listen, they're already demons, right? If it was the other way round and they were like innocent little kids, like oh, help me, I need to get out of here. 
then you would probably feel bad about it. Yeah, but you've, got, already yeah, demons. Yeah, but you've got the thing to go, there you go, you're not a demon anymore. Yeah, but they're already part, they've already gone past This is it. your thing every time. Oh, I, I've not had to do anything, so it's yeah. fine. Just like the lever, you're happy to just leave it as it is, except you're willing to murder these kids. That's true. Well, well not they're already them, they're demons. Already yeah, if they were normal them. kids and I was turning them into demons to save myself, then yeah, that would be messed up. But murdering them's fine. I would, dead. I would save one kid just to see if they were decent or whatever. And just like, <laughs> hey, let's see if you're a nice person. And if they are, like, oh, what are the rest of them like? And she'd be like, oh, Sally's a bit of a weirdo, boy. Let's leave her as a demon child then. No, I would, I'd save all the kids and get out all together as one. Yeah. I'd be up for the fight. Let's yeah. get everybody out. I feel like you have to. Well, it's, it's, either, also, it's either always on all of us, is my mentality. It is also when you're playing the game, it is also sometimes you're a bit like, like to see what I can do with this lightning ability. Mm. That's quite cool. So you can go through all the entire game without any ability? You're just a guy running around? I think there's still op- op- possibilities of getting some, but the game's much easier and you do get you, them a lot better. In the game, better. do you make it back up to the surface? Do you, do you like get out? Make it back to reality? Come Let's on, not please do a tell spoiler me. on this one. Have oh, you played man. it? Yeah. Did you love it? I, I, it's such a fun game. Okay. There's a few as well. There's Bioshock 1 and 2. Both of those have the little sisters in, so you get that moral dilemma in both. But there's moral dilemmas throughout all the games like it's not just that there's some I that have are like, them on Steam too I should play them honestly they're a lot of fun and it's just the decisions to make all the time like between whether you save or kill other people or whether you take people along with you and okay. see if they'll help you and whatnot. and you guys should both play Detroit Become Human because it's really okay cool. well I've got a moral dilemma right now mm-hmm. do we continue or end the podcast here I think we have some lots of things to do today yeah I so think we end the podcast here I think we have to end it so we morally, can get on with the day yeah. I think we have to end the podcast, guys. Well, what we've learned today is I need to quickly have a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Soon. Well, obviously that's a, a, a joint decision. But um, Ian needs a kid. I'm yeah. going to kill Ian's mum. Yeah. And, and I'm Harry just going to stay will neutral. Just allow everything to die right. in front of her as long as she doesn't have to do anything. <laughs> Correct. Thank you for listening to another episode of In the Lobby. Yes. In the Lobby. In the Lobby. See you next time. Bye.